to do my best to ignore this top alcohol dragster semifinal so Bob can handle this whole thing. Let me have a race off, Bob. Well, you can watch the Chris Demke team car come out right there, the Peen Wright team machine, and Brandon Johnson now. I went back into pit air and asked the Demkes. It was a down nozzle, what they call, that was leaking out there, and that shoots the fuel down from the top of the manifold down into the engine. It was leaking underneath. Adam Rhodes was the guy that put his shirt under there. He said, I was looking around for somebody with a towel, a cloth, a rag, anything. He said, and I kept waiting for him to shut us off. You heard Chris say that, but we've talked all day long about second generations. You look at the Force Girls right there, and we've talked about the Gordons and the Gasparellis. Adam Rhodes also a second generation race to dad one of the great top gas racers for a long while uh, won Gainesville back uh, years ago and another uh, indication this is just a great family sport but Adam was there and I said boy you guys it's been drama all weekend long he said yeah we wouldn't know what to do with the round if everything went according to plan oh this is where I speak again I remember I was taking this oh, one sorry. off <laughs> my bad <laughs> and Brandon Johnson the team I asked them what they've got to do they said we need to keep this thing lit on all eight cylinders you heard the uh, Roger Bateman say he's going to run Gordon. They've met a lot. And of course, coming out here in the Northwest, you're going to see a lot of runs between the Demkeys and the Johnsons. But the supercharged car running well, he's got to exercise that demon of getting a national event win. But if the injected car on the left side can hit on all eight cylinders, it should be a good run. So the rest of the family, there's Adam. He's got a shirt back. I'm not sure that's the same one or not. But probably nice not. Job. Nice job for him and the entire team in the last job. And I'm sure his dad would be proud of him. Thanks for letting me have that one off. Here we go. Smoke out of Brandon Johnson's car. The numbers for Demke, 537, 262 miles an hour. For Chris Demke, his best run of the weekend. That is an impressive performance right there for a team that has overcome adversity on a couple of different levels this weekend. Blew up the supercharger. Now watch the injected car. We've seen them, the bane of their existence, right off the starting line. You got that fine window between weak tire shake and too much power in the tire shake, and that's what happened right there. Brandon may have gotten away with that earlier in the weekend in that opening round, but not here when the guy in the other lane is going 537. So Chris Demke, Jerry Matter, and the team, another final round and a chance to try to close the deal. Now we are guaranteed to have a first time national event winner and top alcohol dragster. Will it be Courtney Force or will it be Chris Demke who picks his lane in the finals coming up in just a moment?